introducing the Barcelona Packs and Light and Pal Company. It was incorporated and registered in Canada for the purpose of developing and operating electrical power in Spain. Barcelona Traction issued bonds in 1936. The servicing of the Barcelona Traction bonds was suspended by the Spanish Civil War. After war, Spanish authorities refused resumption. In 1938, Spain declared the company bankrupt, took actions determinant to its shareholders. Belgium as plaintiff brought a suit against Spain, defendant in the International Court of Justice. Belgium seek reparation for damage, but Spain refused compensation to Belgian shareholders of Barcelona tracks. <laughs> essential to establish whether the losses allegedly suffered by Belgian shareholders in Barcelona Traction were the consequences of the violation of obligations of which they are beneficiaries. Corporations are juridical entities have legal identities separate from that of their owners. Corporate entities have rights and obligations to themselves with independent corporate personality. It means that rights and benefits accruing the company belong to the company, not to its owner. So what rule verifies this? There is a rule that the state of a shareholder's corporation has a right of diplomatic protection only when the state whose responsibility is invoked is the national state of the company. So what does that rule mean? It means only a company can claim to damage or financial loss caused by unfair or illegal actions by other entities such as state. So In any event, shareholders are bound to take account of the risk of capital depreciation or loss resulting from commercial hazards or from prejudice caused to the company by illegal treatment. The Restatement of Foreign Relations Law of United States, Section 185, states that the failure of a state to pay just compensation for the taking of the property of an alien is wrongful under international law, regardless of whether the taking itself is conceived as wrongful. Such a wrongful taking is characterized either as tortious conduct or as unjust enrichment. suffered from damage were Belgian cannot justify a diplomatic claim. So what do you mean by that is in order to make a claim this should be Spanish national? In that case only they can make a claim against Spain. The shareholders can be a legal entity separate from the company itself. What it basically means is the company is different from legal entity as well as shareholder. They are completely two different legal entities. So Belgium can't complain on behalf of the Barcelona Trucks and shareholders. If the shareholders were from the Spanish nationals, it would be a different case, but in this case, all the shareholders were from Belgium. That means they can't claim against Spain. Spain doesn't have an obligation to make reparation for Belgium shareholders. Since Spain 
is not the national state of Barcelona attraction. Barcelona attraction could have approached its national state Canada to ask for its diplomatic protection. So, for the above reasons, the court is of the opinion that Belgium lacks standing to bring this action. Thank you.